I just bought this on Thursday on Amazon. It got here on Friday. Portable 200 watt solar charger. These things are highly rated. Uh, everywhere you go online, it's like Renogy, Renogy. I bought this set of two tools that are apparently needed for the connectors. I think they should have included these if they are required with that. This handle is spring loaded, that's kind of handy. So pick it up, go, springs back down. These are pretty well flattened out from their journey. Put a solar panel. Now what happens? Satisfied, unsatisfied. Contact us. That solar power. Here's what it came with, except for those, again, the two little tools I bought separate. It's got an instruction book, I think. I haven't looked at it yet. The battery cables, a bag for the battery cables, a little tie thing for the battery cables, the seat case, and this, which, if you look at the back of it right now, see I've got open windows over here. It's blinking, and I don't really know what it means yet. Looks like it's set up for AGM batteries, which I'm going to have to change because I have two 6-volt golf cart batteries. Let's see if I can get this thing set up. It says, hold, battery type, down for three seconds. Nothing. I finally found a video on YouTube that said if you're flashing this B01 you can't change the battery type setting so I have to go hook it up. I would like to say I'm pretty impressed with the quality of this thing. It looks quite nice. The components, this connector thing is all RTV'd on there. This thing, controller, is supposed to swing out, <laughs> but it's got a lot of Velcro on there. Ah, oh, there we go, like that. <laughs> and the frame looks nice. And this is the front of it before I take it outside. What do you see, Ruby? nice. Before I hook the solar panels up, I'm going to check the battery voltage. I've had this thing unplugged for probably a week or so now. Let's see what it's at. This is two 6 volt golf cart batteries. 12.4 volts. Next, I'll hook up the Renogy battery cables. This will not be my permanent installation, but to see if it works, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So, plus to plus, minus to minus, I'll open up the suitcase. So I have the battery connected to this cable. This cable will connect to the controller, which I disconnected one of the cables down here, because you're supposed to connect it to the controller first from the battery, and then 
connect the controller to the solar panels. Oh, it's reading 12.5 volts. It was set to AGM, now it's set to wet. I don't know if it switched on its own. That's weird. Okay, here we go. Now I just connected the controller to the solar panels. It says it's charging the battery. Just a moment ago, I measured the battery voltage at 12.4 volts. It's at 12.5 right now. Here's the setup. The solar panels are partially blocked by my truck here. And they're not going to get sun for too much of the day, but probably plenty to charge the battery, I'm guessing. Again, the, the cables are going up right now to this type of connection directly to the battery. I did check the fuse and it is a 15 amp fuse and I saw people complained about that because I think it's a 20 amp controller. So people change that 15 amp fuse out for a 20 amp I believe. I believe we're in business here. I believe that red LED right there indicates that the panels are working and charging. Uh, there's a blue LED right here. Not sure what that is, and you probably won't be able to see this, but this battery capacity graph type thing, there's it's lit up right here about three quarters of the way. So it's charging right now and it'll work its way up to a hundred percent. And if I flip this thing. It says it's charging at 1.1 amps now. I'll have to do a little research on connectors uh, and put some sort of quick disconnect on that box right there. I have a switched and unswitched 12 volt in there. So I can just put a connector on the outside of that box and then change the leads on this cable for the other end of the connector and it'll have a quick disconnect for these Renogy 200 watt solar panels. I had these things tucked way back over there and they weren't getting full sun uh, so I decided for the time being uh, till I get my extension cables I just set them in the back of the truck here. Even where it's sitting right now it's not getting direct sun at the corner there that's not getting sunlight but it's getting a lot of sun. So it looks like we're charging at 6.5 amps. 6.8 amp hours. Still don't know what that translates to. But it's sure a bigger number than I had the other day. And we're at 13.4 volts. I guess maybe that's the output of this thing. But I'd say we're cooking with fire right now. It's working quite well.